The original DSPA is ideal for any fire suppression application where the aerosol can be contained within the structure. In this video example, a DSPA product is used to fully suppress an aircraft fire. Prior to entry, the fire teams are instructed on proper deployment of the DSPA. These handheld DSPA units are easy to deploy as a first responder need only remove the plastic cap, pull on the ignition halyard, and toss the unit into the seat of the fire. As fire teams enter the aircraft, they are met with extremely high temperatures and flames burning out of control. A quick response to an aircraft fire with DSPA products can preserve sensitive electronics, reduce expensive structural damage, and help evacuate personnel safely. Following the instructions they were given prior to entry, the DSPA is deployed and the aerosol quickly fills the space, knocking down flames and lowering temperatures by as much as 700 degrees Fahrenheit. This remarkable device achieves these results by using the heat from the ignition to generate a non-toxic potassium aerosol within the body of the device. Once a specific pressure inside the case is met, the aerosol vents through the diameter of the case, causing a swirling effect of potassium bicarbonate, which seeks energy ions to bond with. Energy in a fire takes the form of heat, so as the potassium bonds with the heat, energy is suppressed, reducing temperatures. As the aerosol continues to interact with the fire, it releases hydroxyl ions, which seek out the fuel of the fire, consume it, and prevent further combustion. This process takes less than a minute and the fire is fully suppressed, allowing the remaining aerosol to prevent reignition of the fire. Most remarkable is the DSPA does not ever affect the level of oxygen within the structure, making its use in occupied aircraft critical for rescue and fire teams. Any remaining aerosol will vent the structure. And cleanup is simple, as spent DSPA can be discarded without any special handling precautions.